Hi, welcome to today's class. Today we have another question on the board. The question reads, what is the fourth root of one? So how do we simplify this? If you look at this, you may just conclude by saying the answer is just one. But we have some other imaginary answer to this challenge. So how do we get the imaginary um, answer to this challenge? So if you're new here, this is online math TV where we learn mathematics all the time. Without much waste of time, let's go into solving today's challenge. Okay, so, yeah, let's take our solution. All right, so the first thing we're going to do here is to equate this to an alphabet, okay? So, from here, we can say here, let, um, let, let's take x is equal to the fourth root of 1. All we need to do is to take the fourth power of both sides. So this now give us here x to the power of 4 is equal to the fourth root of 1 all raised to power 4. So this leads with x. We are now left with x to the power of 4. This is equal to 1. We have to move this one to this side of the equation. So this will give us here x to the power of 4 minus because this is invisible plus so minus one on this side we're left with zero now we can raise this one to power four okay so we now have this to be x to the power of four minus one to the power of four is equal to zero the next thing i'm going to do is to split the power here now four can be written as two times two right so let's split the power so this now give us here x to the power of two all raised to the power of two minus one to the power of two all raised to the power of two everything equal to zero so if we apply the rule which says that when an alphabet or an entity is raised to a power and is further raised to another power multiply the powers so if we use two to times two here it will give us this this will also give us x now remember your difference of two square okay we say that if you have your a to the power of two then minus b to the power of two this is equal to your a plus two close bracket bracket a minus uh, sorry b yeah so a plus b then into a minus b so if we succumb to this rule yeah then we can rewrite this expression we have here and so this will now give us here your x to the power of 2 or raised to power 2 minus your 1 to the power of 2 or to the power of 2 this is equal to your x to the power of 2 let's go with the minus first so minus 1 okay this also to the power of 2 so this to the power of 2 close bracket bracket your x to the power of 2 then plugs your one the square okay all right so from here what we do we equate everything here to zero right so mind you this equal to zero so this now gives us here your x minus s square minus one square okay in bracket bracket your x squared plus one or squared everything equal to zero so at this point we apply what is called the zero product rule Okay, so what does this say? We equate this to zero and equate this to zero. So our expression thoughts will now give us here your x squared minus your one squared or equal to zero or your x squared plus one squared equal to zero. So let's continue on this side. Okay, so we take this to zero. Again, we have a difference of two squared which is this, we can apply that law again. So if we apply the difference of two square law to this, then we're going to have this to be our x squared minus one squared, okay? So this will give us, again, your x minus one, close bracket, bracket, your x plus one. For this very one year now, right then if we look at this yeah we're going to have some challenge here okay so how do we solve this other part let's take this part here now so here we're going to have this to be your x squared plus one squared 
will also be written as your x squared minus bracket minus 1 like this, right? Good. So if we can write this like this, remember we know that the square root of minus 1 is equal to our iota. So if I decide to square both sides, then these, these leaves we are left with minus 1 is equal to what? Iota square. So we can replace minus 1 with iota square. So we can put in here iota square here. So this will now give us your x square flux 1 square is equal to your x squared minus your iota square. Right? So again, we apply our difference of 2 squared to this. So this will give us x squared minus iota squared is equal to your x minus your iota bracket bracket the pin again we have your x plus your iota close bracket so we succeeded in simplifying this and at the same time in simplify this now so let's come back to our, our value here now so if we bring everything together so this now implies the first one we have your bracket x minus one bracket your x plus one the bracket um for this now we have your x minus iota bracket your x um plus your iota close bracket let's erase this everything equal to zero here yeah. okay so we can now look for our um value of x here now from this expression so we have four values to our x here now so you put each of these to uh, zero according to the zero product rule so therefore we now have our x minus one equal to zero the x plus one equal to zero x minus iota equal to zero and x plus iota equal to zero so what are the solutions to this? So from all these factors we have here now, we can say in all, therefore we now have x is equals to, this will become one, okay? Here we have one, then let's take this as our x1, then we have our x2, this is equal to minus one, then we have our x3, this is equal to your positive iota, and our x4 is equal to your negative iota. Okay, so this is the answer we have where we factorize this or we simplify this. So the answer is not just positive one, but we have two imaginary roots and two non imaginary roots. Okay, so this brings us to the end of this challenge. Thanks for always be there. Bye for now.